Hi guys, JP from FSI panel. On that short video, I will show you how you can fly quick approaches using the new released Horizon 787-9 using FSI panel 2020 standard edition. And if you own the advanced edition, you can as well fly the training scenario, the airline's flight using this beautiful 787. So I just loaded here the aircraft in Geneva on runway 22, and we are going to see what steps are required to fly a quick approach on that beautiful bird. So let's jump in the cockpit. So here we are, nothing set. I just loaded the aircraft. As you can see, we have a standard value in the uh, FMC, in the, sorry, in the FCU. We have nothing in the FMS and some stuff have to be done. So the first thing you want to do for sure is to set your training weight. When you load the aircraft like this, you can see that we have right now 50 tons of fuel. That's way too much to simulate and to practice landing unless you really want to practice a weight landing. So in this case today, I will show you how to set the weight. So just go into index, settings, weight and balance. And here, feel free to load the aircraft as you like with the payload and the fuel. So here, I will just set nine tons of fuel in the tanks. As you can see right now, the fuel is balanced and we have nine tons and I should get a master caution for fuel low center. So the only thing I have to do is turn off the pumps right there. Another thing you want to make sure before you start FSI panel is to make sure your packing brake is set, which is the case right now. And now we can start FSI panel and program the approach. So let's start FSI panel. All right, here we are in FSI panel. As you can see on the bottom left of the screen, the Horizon 787-9 has been detected. So that's a good sign that everything is working properly. We are in Geneva on runway 22. And if you want to fly a short final, let's click on short final. And the next thing we need to do is click move aircraft. So let's do that and see what happened in the sim. Okay, so the first thing you will see is the flaps moving to flaps 30. This is our approach flaps. And once this is done, FSI panel will send you the next message, which is to release your parking brake to start the approach. So right now, as you can see, flaps are moving to flaps 30. And now we should get the message, release parking brake. So I'm ready. I will release the parking brake and we move forward. You will see what we have to do. So releasing now parking brake, the aircraft goes in the air and I will get a next message from FSI panel, which is to engage vertical speed minus 1000 feet per minute. So I will engage vertical speed and I will set minus 1000 feet per minute. This is the only thing I need to do. And now I just need to wait for the aircraft to stabilize and FSI panel will tell us the next thing. The aircraft can be, fl can be flown already if you want to take control, but we don't have the ILS frequency and we don't have the correct weight. So what we need to do now is to set the zero fuel weight in the box. So you are the autopilot, so no worries. Just go init ref, index, performance, and just grab the zero fuel weight right this. This is done. And now what you can do is go into your approach speed and set the approach speed. Right, now what we want to do for the ILS is to set a route. So if you go to route, you see destination, just type in your airport. So in my case, Geneva. So I just need to type in Geneva right there, activate this, execute, and now I can select the approach that I want. So I would like the ILS-22. This is what we are doing right now. Execute, and that's it. Now, if you look into your PFD, you can see that we have the localizer, we have the glide slope, and everything looks good. The speed is there. We have the VRF, which was 138. So if we go now into the uh, approach page, we can see 138 plus 5, 143 should be my approach speed. So everything is done. Next thing we can see here is a check incomplete uh, checklist. So not a big deal here. The only thing you have to do if you want to clear it up, it's to go to the uh, checklist and override the complete checklist after takeoff. Click on normal override the uh, descent, go to normal and override the approach. That's it. And now the next one will be the uh, landing. We can see that the only thing that we'll have to do is to arm the uh, speed brake. And once this is done, then we basically have the landing checklist completed. Good. So that like this, as you can see, the aircraft is ready now. So I'm able to fly the approach. One more thing that you might want to check is what is your next active waypoint in the FMC in case you should go around. So right now we have the runway in front of us as we uh, selected a short final. So it's always a good idea 
to just put on top the next active waypoint so that if you click Toga, you will fly the correct missed approach. All right, everything is set. So we have done everything requested by FSI panel. The next thing to do is to take over the control. So for that, I have to hold my brake for three seconds. So I will do that right now. And now I have the control. I can arm the approach right there. And we should have localizer captured, as you can see. Glide slope is armed and the aircraft will fly the approach perfectly well. So let's see that now with the glide slope coming. And 143 was the approach speed. Set, and we have glide slope captured, missed approach altitude, 7,000 feet. Set. Stabilize, and I can fly a short approach. So it took us around 45 seconds to be ready. So this is how you can use FSI panel standard or advanced edition with the uh, new Horizon 787-9. In the advanced edition, if you own the advanced edition, uh, the only advantage is that you can fly the uh, airline flight, like the Swiss 2254 or any flight uh, with full ATC, you could fly it on your 787. All right, let's do the landing here and then I will show you how to position the same aircraft in, let's say, uh, vectors to final in Geneva. So let's fly this, taking the autopilot off now. And we will try to land the aircraft. Three red, correcting. Back on profile. Right, speed break up, reverse is normal, and we will just stop on the runway. Out of reverses, and we just stop right there on the runway. All right, here we are, and we are going to set the parking brake. And let's have a quick look at the landing report. You get as well a nice landing report with that aircraft. So let's have a look at the landing report. All right, so this is the short final that we've been here. It's a glitch, so don't disregard that. Otherwise, we can see that our uh, descent path was good. It was all flown in autopilot. And otherwise, we were good on the landing distance on the center line, so nothing to worry about. All right, so that was the landing report. Now let's see how we can fly the next thing. We want to fly from the exact same position. The aircraft is still sitting on the runway with flaps 30. Make sure your parking brake is set, as always. And now in FSI panel, we will set up the next approach. So we said this time we would like to practice from left hand vectors. So we should have a flaps 5 configuration and we should be at 200 knots. Uh, to, call, to uh, establish ourselves on the localizer. So let's do that. Click on move aircraft and see what happened in the sim. So in the simulator, the first thing you will see is the flaps moving to five. So FSI panel will be waiting now until the flaps are close to five. And once this is done, we will get the next instructions to release the parking brake. So let's see that happening now. The flaps are moving. And now, as we already have the uh, NAV setting and the correct destination in the uh, FMC, that should be easier for the second approach. So let's see that. Now, release parking brake. Good. So I'm releasing now the parking brake. Aircraft goes in the air. I should get the message engage vertical speed 1,000 feet per minute. So vertical speed 1,000 feet per minute is engaged. And now we are waiting for the aircraft to stabilize. Two hundred knots, as you can see, that's the target speed. And uh, we have the altitude alert. We're a little bit low. That's not a problem. We are recovering. And as you can see, the ILS is still 
uh, programmed as it was inserted on the uh, approach previously and as well the speeds are there. So now it's just basically checking that you have the right things in your box. So what I will do now is just insert again the approach. Just like that, IRS, runway 22, execute. And now on the screen, you can see that the next waypoint is Gol Gol 508. So what is a good habit to do is to take the next waypoint right there. And the intercept course, we are just going to put the runway, the localizer course right there and then execute. And now you should have a nice vectors to intercept. We are two miles left of the track. And if we look into the Inetref page, we still have the correct speed. So now basically you can see we are at 3,700 feet. We have the flaps at five and I can reduce my speed to bug five if I want to. And I'm ready to take over the control. So speed brake extended. Let's retract the speed brake. Okay, and we take the control by holding the brakes. I have the control. The only thing I need to do now is arm the approach. And that's it, we have localizer glide slope armed and I'm ready to fly my second approach uh, with the uh, 787. All right, so if you have any question or comments about this aircraft or how to fly it, please drop a comment in the section down below. And as always, feel free to uh, send any request on the forum or on the Discord channel. Thank you guys for watching and I see you next time for another video. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys, see you next time.